Hi friends, welcome to Tech Talk Tech. So today we are going to see how to get the Android crash logs. So while we are running uh, automation, so using um, automation using and Calabash Android, and the same log we can uh, log it in Cucumber report. Okay, so before uh, start running the automation cases, let me show uh, some crash. So means some uh, some application crash. So that I, you know this is the the specific application crash how we are getting through ADB lock at. So let me open the right screen. Okay, yeah. So let me open that. Okay. So here I I connected the device. Let's see. Yes, it's connected. Give me a second, let me resize the screen. Okay, cool. So, here, let me, yeah. so here there is an application called there is a floating menu, so floating label. Yeah. Yeah, this is a floating label what I'm, I'm talking this is a floating label this is application okay so when I click here I'm when I click the sign up button the application going to crash so because I wrote the code such a way that so just uh, click a sign up button application should crash and I'll get the uh, ADB lock crash okay let me run the lock cat for crash so there is an easy way you can get that uh, only crash or error. So when you say adb lock at grip android runtime, so it will give this is the last crash happen which is happen. So let me crash it again. So here I am going to click uh, sign up button. So you can see here. Yeah, I'm going to click sign up button. Yeah, I click the sign up button in real device. So you can see that the application get crashed here. Let's see that. Cool. So we got that the crashed the crash logs. Okay. So this is how uh, you are getting on uh, uh, while we are testing on manual testing. So how we are uh, through that ADB lock ad we can get that uh, logs. So now I'm going to uh, show how to get it in through Calabash Android. Okay, let's see the code snippet for that. Okay, let's go to. Yep. So here, so what I'm going to do, this is my feature file. So here I'm just crash log at ADB crash log this is a one and two just for naming convention. Okay, so I am waiting for two second and clicking the sign up button. So here there is a two scenario. So I, I need two different logs. Uh, I'm running second scenario also. Wait for uh, two seconds and click the same sign in button. Okay. So where I am going to uh, implement the code. Okay. There is a very simple code. You can go to that uh, app lifecycle hooks. Okay. So in before scenario, so you need to do uh, iPhone C lock at ADB lock at iPhone C. What it means basically. So it just clear the buffer of the previous uh, logs. So every scenario, it will clear that previous log in that device. So which means like you will get the whatever the logs you are getting at the end of the scenario. If it is fails, it will uh, it will go into embedded the screenshot and also it will get the logs. So it will print the logs in the Cucumber report. So when you say put and this thing, so basically it will uh, print the logs in uh, Cucumber report. So that's it. So that those logs only specific to this particular scenario. So whatever the scenario is running, so only it will get the particular scenario crash logs. If it is crash happen, you will get the crash log. Okay. So so every scenario it will clear the buffer in the device. So which means there is no logs and uh, the in the scenario in between. 
if it is any crash happen you will get it okay so let me run this uh, automation case cool let me open this yes so already i ran something okay okay so here what i'll do uh, calabash android run so this is my apk and then hyphen hyphen format pretty so what this will do basically so it will print the pretty format in console and also you need the report right so you need to hyphen hyphen uh, format and html so it will generate a html format and the output folder where you want so i am given the i didn't give any path so i need the wherever the uh, the folder is there it will generate that html uh, report okay so let me run this one okay so it started so let's see here Okay. Yes, it's installed that. It is launched. Yes, it clicked. Yes, it's done. So first scenario is done. So it's printing the log in console also and it will print the logs in uh, cucumber report also i will show the report once it's done yeah so here two steps fail and two scenario fail fine but two first two steps are passed so that's why you will get the report like this in final so two scenario uh, i ran in the two scenario two scenario failed but first two step get passed so that the, that is why you are getting you are seeing the two passed as a green and to fail two step next two steps getting failed cool so let me open the html report let me open folder okay cool so you will be getting a, a cucumber report like this so so in this video uh, this video is for not uh, not for beginners because uh, the people who are already working in cucumber reports and calabash and the hooks so that is so those who are having familiar with these so easy to understand so before uh, going this video just make understand of uh, cucumber report and then uh, hooks before and after scenarios like this okay so i can show you that scenario one okay in this scenario you can see that uh, the first second step got failed and you, you can able to see the locks cool and also you can see the screenshot awesome and then same so here you will get the timestamp also so in what i written here in this file so you can see adb locket hyphen v time which means this will print the timestamp also the hyphen d will it will stop whatever the logs uh, whatever the logs current logs where that end so if it is logs are stopped uh, then it will this this command will stop that's it yeah so this is a uh, online command to get the only the current uh, <coughs> and runtime error so you will be getting like this and you will you first you will get the crash of the calabash and then next you will get the crash of that specific application yes cool that's it yes okay so thanks for watching this video so for any uh, doubts regarding this please comment on this video uh, if you like this video you can share it and like it yeah so upcoming videos i will do some uh, memory analysis and network analysis part so hope you'll be enjoying these videos thank you bye